Hello. So, some people were curious on how I made this Persona Five menu. So I'm gonna try to show you my thought process and just show how how the specific things work in here. Uh, this video is not a tutorial. A tutorial implied that I actually know what I'm doing and actually know how it, to explain it properly. Like I cannot guide you from the start to finish. Just take this video has some sort of clue or something in case you're curious on how I do things. But I probably not not going to be able to explain it properly. So uh, let's start with the with the background, the star background here thing here. Okay, let's see. See this cool star pattern. This this star black and white pattern. So I'm gonna try to click it, try to select it to show you. Uh, I don't know. Okay, this star duplicated out. Hit, hit the star here. Wait, why is it red? Oh wait, uh, this is the red here. Turn off. Okay, this star here. Now the the star have a sh have a shader. It it's on the sprite two D. Yeah, it have a, a an empty white square here just just so that it have some graphic to work with. And in the shader, in the shader here, th this is how the star is made. It's actually quite flexible here. Like I can increase the frequency, or, or rotate it, or or just change how sharp it is. I can even change color. See, there there's a gray one over here. That's because I changed the color. So, it used this code. Uh, this code is how it works. Uh, there's this tutorial I followed, like the 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 introduction to shader, and and I also have the. This shader from the shader toy, for of the of the star, the star shader, and then somehow stitch it together, and and I, and I don't even know how I do this. I managed to create this. Now I I cannot explain how it works because I pro I already forgot. But it will show you the full code. Okay, and after I got this star. The star pattern. I will I will put the star to as a shard of this of this polygon node here, and and turn the clip turn the clipping on clip only. So I can do I can do this. I can have have this. So all the star will be in here. And and yes, all of these star pattern here they are all individual sprite. This this is not a shader. It 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 just all all of them. It just each node of the star so all this star is just clipping and one of the layer here one of the layer will, will is the star that will appear later so this layer will have at the start it will have scale of zero and then and then twin back to to the initial position it's pretty simple and the next is the the polygon the, the polygon animation Actually, I will explain the polygon red tinting first. So there's this thing, right? So the menu would have this this red tint overlay. So this this red thing, it it just copy the the star polygon. Yeah, it just copy it. It's it's a polygon inverted polygon. It just pump it. So anything outside of the star, it will be a red overlay. I controlled with this. Yeah, and I'm I'm. It's like every frame. It just copy the polygon. I'm I am not sure about the performance. This book, how how much it will affect performance, but it is working for now. So, so it will follow the shape of this star. And in the menu, right? It have, yeah, it have polygon animation here. See, it have this um, polygon animation, and when the transition is just move around like this. How this work is? It it it's just an animation. Let's see here. Here's here's the animation. Uh, main menu start. See, it just it just do this. 
and in the skill transition it's also do this see yeah now this black and white box uh it just it's just a box black box here it is it's just a box uh this white this white it just it just clip into the black box and i also animated to to make it flow down there see it's just boom see so that's how it is it's not a shader now next is the the 3d model the 3d model in the menu so let me turn this off you have this this joker here like it's a model it's just it's just a sub sub view part right the sub view part and in, in the sub view part we have a we have a joker model i, I cannot see it because it's in a sub view part and it just become invisible I, I hope there is a way to make it visible because it's kind of inconvenient but i will show you so this is the model of joker it have black and white black and white materials and there's an animation for when he when he start start the menu uh, the the animation looks a bit goofy because i, I kind of animated myself yeah, I, I don't get it from the game and here's the skill look see it looks half half goofy it is it just it just looks looks weird but it works perfectly in from from the menu now i just have to do is just play the animation and after the animation is finished, I just set set this sprite visible and also this menu too, right? And maybe some effect to bounce it. Okay, so 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 in in this texture work here, we have a Joker, and in the skill menu here. I also have a different one. It used the same sub view part though. But I just I just need Joker to be in the different position. Just try to align it up properly. But even with this it won't align properly, so I need to also animate a camera in the animation. So if I do look here it is there's an a camera timeline. Right. You see? Boom. Now, initially it, it will not position properly, so I need to move a, a camera around. I need a chrome cam so like it's like that. I have to move camera down here and make sure it's it match, and just copy the position into the timeline. So that's basic basically how it works. Now the next thing is the selection here. The selection. See, there's the, there's the wiggle polygon here. It the the blue and red is not it's not blending yet. I have no idea how I would be able to pull this off. So I'll try I'll, I'll try to explain later, but I will tell you how this wiggle polygon works for us. So on the button here, I made it so that when when it is focusing, I just, I just play a play a code to to set to set this. I just play the code to make this visible. Yeah, the selecting the selecting polygon thingy just make it visible when it is focusing. And these two boxes, I have a code to make it wiggle around. I just copy this from one of the Unity forum. Uh, it is it, it is from Unity, but it sort of works here too. It just randomly move each polygon points around. That's it. Now I will tell you tell you why I I don't use blending because I don't really know how to make it works properly. Like if you look at it, uh, when blue and red on top of each other, it turned to white. So it's obviously a blending, an additive blending. So if if I set the blend 
set the canvas item to to ad additive to add. See, it turn white exactly how it works. However, however, right? By by making it additive, it also additive the the background. You know, the thing outside this red box, and it also supposed to also do some blending on this skill button too. I still have no idea how to do this. But the only way to sort of make this work is to make the blending only works on specific graphic, like only on this polygon and the bottom. I, I don't know how, how that could be achieved, so I cannot do that for now. Oh, and also about the transition back. You know how when, when I cancel, it, it have this brush effect? And this brush effect, it's just a simple transition. I follow this tutorial, you know, on transition. And basically, it just have a shared copy, copy the screenshot of the screen. And then it just do a, use a texture to blend it back. Yeah, I just use this texture to blend it back. I just set, I just set the main menu active, set the main menu back, active back, and then just transition back. And it's pretty simple. It's it looks pretty good, and it it's it, it's not too much of a headache. Yeah, that's it. If you have any question, just ask me in the comment.